was living in Dublin at the time, I was around about seven or eight years old, and father came into me and told me that we were going to McDonald's. McDonald's had just opened in O'Connell Street in Dublin, but I hadn't been to it, like, so he, he said me and him were going to go for the day. And then he took me to a big sports shop and got me a Republic Ireland top and shorts and a pair of socks. And I was over the moon about it, like, couldn't believe it, like, the first ever kit I ever got, like, all over my life. It was a fantastic experience, like, because he wasn't, he wasn't the warmest of, of characters that way. He wouldn't have went out and shelled money on you or anything. Maybe one, maybe for one he didn't have it. But also he wouldn't have really done too many father and son things. It just wasn't him, like, it just wasn't his, his, wasn't, he wasn't into it. But that day he nearly made up for all his bads, like, because it was a fantastic day. Like. He was ready for going home and sitting in front of the TV and watching the game. It was Republic of Ireland in Denmark, I think. It was a friendly in Lansdowne Road. And the town was bong, there was loads of people in it, everybody going to the game. I knew we were going home, I didn't go to the games, I was too young. And, but then as we went to the bus stop, he just pulled out two tickets out of his back pocket. Just two pure green tickets. And we said we're going to the game. Craig couldn't believe it. Could not believe it, it was over the moon. I was all, all up for it, I had, my, I had my kitten all on. I was ready to see the boys in green, I was delighted. And off we went to the game. Like, when we got to Lansdowne Road, it was the old Lansdowne Road then, like it was more or less just all stalls. And it was great, Everyone, all people selling things and flags for like a punt and everything, it was great. I got five punts given to me to go and spend on what I wanted. It took me by the hand because you had to, you had to stay close to them. There was that many people about, but I just held on, I just held on to, held on to them until we got up into the stalls. I was good, got a bother, I thought it was great. And then waiting for the team to come out, like, put me up on the shoulders for the national anthem and his shoulders again for the end of the game and you could see right over, right onto the pitch. I was nearly the youngest in the sort of section that we were in. I was through in the air and bounced about and people giving you 20p here and there and you were going home with your big load of chains in your pocket. Everything was just fantastic. It's just something that I'll always, I'll always remember. And every time even when I see Republic of Ireland playing, even now if it's a big, even if, it, if they ever get to the World Cup final, it still wouldn't replace that day. Like my first football match ever. I was about 11 when he died. It was just something that, that he'd done that was just so, surely for me when I, when I was away. And he put himself out for me. And that was one of the things, that, nearly, the, I could say, the only thing that he'd done for me that was great, that I'll always remember, that I'll, and I'll always forgive him for everything else that he'd done because I knew he put himself out that day.